Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here, and I wanted to pop on and talk about how fatigue and motivation are really related to some underlying hormonal issues and conditions. So I work with a lot of women all over the world, and one of the most frustrating things for women is that they just don't feel like themselves. When you have a hormone issue, if you're feeling like, ugh, I've gained weight and I just need to lose weight. If I lose this extra 15 pounds or 20 pounds, I'm gonna feel better and then have more energy and I won't be so tired or fatigued. Sure, <clears throat> I can see how that thought process happens, but for a lot of women, it's not just a matter of you put on some extra weight that you're not feeling good. You can have an underlying hormonal issue that's actually preventing you from losing the weight that you want to lose or making it an easy process that then causes fatigue and then feels like it's a lack of motivation too. I am shocked at how many women describe this as a lack of motivation or I just can't get myself going. I can't keep myself going on this. And this isn't a matter of wanting it or not. It is you're physically so tired that you can't keep going with things. You're so tired, it makes it seem like doing everyday tasks is exhausting. Because it is. So if you're a gal and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm really struggling, ugh, I need to go to the grocery store, but not only do I have to go around and make a list, I've got to get to the store, walk around, get all the things, check out, load the stuff in my grocery cart, bring it to the car, put it in the car. Now I have to come home, unload it from the car, and then put it away and then, of course, it's always time to make another meal. Oh, that's exhausting. It's an exhausting process. So if you're a gal that feels like, oh my gosh, I come home from the grocery store and I'm exhausted and don't even want to think about putting the groceries away because I'm so tired, but you're thinking, oh, I just need to be more motivated to do it. It's not a motivation issue. It's a fatigue issue. You're exhausted and you don't have energy, right? This isn't like, oh, I need another cup of coffee or I should have energy blah, 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 bouncing off the walls, da, 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 da. No, this is you're so fatigued and you don't have energy to do regular daily tasks. And for so many women, again, we're thinking I'm not motivated to do it. It's not a matter of want or motivation. It is your body is powered down, run down. So how I describe this for a lot of women is that it feels like you have a tank of gas and you don't get to fill your gas tank every day or multiple times a day. You wake up in the morning and maybe you get a cup of gas to put in that gas tank and that's all you get for the day, right? Sometimes you might feel like, well, maybe if I do this or if I have a bunch of coffee or something, I can get a little bit more, maybe a half a cup in the afternoon, but by evening, totally out of gas. You don't get a gallon at a time even, you get a cup at a time. How many of you felt like that? Where you're like, good Lord, I am exhausted. Yep. Mm-hmm. Hormone issues. Veronica, I'm feeling run down today. <laughs> yes. Oh, also super fun. If you're going through a detox or going through some things internally, that can also take and zap a ton of your energy. Yay. Hard thing about that is that you can't see it. And maybe you're not like, well, I didn't really do anything. I didn't really do a tough workout. Why am I so exhausted? Because your body's doing all this work inside that you just can't see. Mm-hmm. Yes. Super great. So, when we're looking at these hormones, and I'm just going to talk briefly about these four hormones um, and how they can cause, you know, fatigue and everything else in your system and decrease energy. If you're wondering about these hormone levels for you, fantastic thing is the Dutch test. So I'm going to put a link there in the comments. If you have not uh, checked out the Dutch test, you can. This is a test for your comprehensive hormones where we look at cortisol, estrogens, progesterones, testosterones, everything else. Mm-hmm. Yep. And I get to see what these levels are doing exactly. And look at that. Look how amazing this is. It tells me what it's doing throughout the day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So a lot of times based on this, I can tell you when your energy is going to be the highest in the day and the lowest in the day. I, this is like my favorite thing to do. I can look at it and know before you even tell me because of what your hormone levels are telling me. Mm-hmm. That's how amazing this, this test is. So check out info on the Dutch test in the comments there. Now, cortisol, of course, is, this is uh, produced by your adrenals. It's like a stress hormone, but it's also responsible for getting you up and awake in the morning. So if you're, so, you should have more cortisol in the morning. This is gonna help you wake up, get out of bed, and feel like, bing, my brain is turned on, I am ready to go. If you have improper levels in the morning for cortisol, 
this makes it feel like, okay, my alarm went off. How do I get up? Okay, I'm gonna get up. I'm just gonna force my body out of bed. Okay, now I'm gonna go around and do things. You're on this sort of like zombie autopilot for an hour at least. Yeah. Uh, and then all of a sudden you're like, okay, okay. I've had some coffee. Here we go. I'm awake. <clears throat> okay. Now I'm ready to do things. Yes. <clears throat> Before that, if you try and actually do something productive or have a conversation, <laughs> yikes. Is it a struggle? Cortisol issues. No, there's other cortisol issues throughout the day, but that's a big one for a lot of women. Estrogen and progesterone. If you have estrogen levels that are off and progesterone levels that are off, this is where you can feel really fatigued at a specific point in your cycle. This is where you might feel like, oh, I feel okay this week, and then the next week you ovulate and you crash and you crash hard all day, every day, no matter what. You're like, I don't understand. Oh, I feel like my entire body is made out of cement and it doesn't change or get better until your cycle changes. Yeah, that's an estrogen progesterone issue. Mm -hmm. Testosterone. Now, testosterone, super tricky. Why? Why is testosterone super tricky? Because your testosterone levels can be off and you might not even notice it or know it because you have so many other issues here. I can't tell you how many women I work with that if they have PCOS, not only do they have estrogen issues, cortisol issues, but they also have testosterone issues. That can lead to a lot of acne, right? You know, maybe getting more facial hair. Uh-huh, yeah. Hair starts to thin out up here. Mm-hmm, yep. What does that have to do with fatigue? Um, a lot. Your testosterone levels, when they're in balance, it can help your system feel more vibrant, feel more energetic. You got a good libido when your hormone levels are good, right? If those are off, zaps your energy totally. So for a lot of women that have hormonal issues, I can't tell you how many of them, huge percentage of women, don't have a libido, have a really low libido because their hormone levels are off and their body's just physically exhausted, totally worn out. Again, get a cup of gasoline at a time, maybe a dropper of gasoline, <sighs> just trying to squeak through the rest of the day and then you sleep and hopefully your sleep is deep enough where it's letting your body repair and, and reset, but sometimes it's not. So that's the hard thing with fatigue, energy, and the motivation piece. Again, so many women think of it as motivation. It's not motivation. It's not about you wanting it harder to do something. It's about do you have the physical energy in your body to do that thing and getting your hormones under control in terms of getting them to function properly for you so that your body feels good enough to do the things. When you function better, you feel better. And when you feel better, your energy is there. And it's so much easier then to, oh my gosh, I want to go for a walk and I want to work out. Da, 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 da. Susan, how you wish I was in Canada. Pretty sure your testosterone is high. Susan, Susan, I have really good news for you. Guess what? This test gets sent to your house wherever you are. Yeah. Get sent to your house. So I have this test sent to women all over the place. You take it at home, you mail it in, and then I go over your results with you. Mm-hmm. Yep. So yeah, we, yeah, it's okay that you're in Canada. Isn't that fun? <laughs> yes. Um, okay. Other resources I have for you. My book, The Female Fat Solution, this talks about nutrition that matches your hormones and your cycle. This is on Amazon. I cover a lot of info in here. Um, <clears throat> I also have my podcast, The Female Health Solution. I've got some amazing podcasts that are coming out, so subscribe to that. And then my YouTube channel is Dr. Beth Westy. Make sure you're subscribed so you stay updated on all the videos I have coming out because I got some really cool stuff that is going to be coming down the pipeline in the next few weeks. So... That's what I got for you guys tonight. I hope you have a great rest of your night. If you found this helpful, please share this with somebody who could use this message because a lot of women don't understand that this is really a big deal and there's a lot of things you can do to help shift and change this for your body, for your health. So have a great rest of your night and I will see you later.